Hi there, I'm Aki from Aki Gaming, and welcome to another episode of My Waifu or Husband Though is Better Than Yours. Each episode, we will be putting two heroes into the spotlight and see who reigns supreme over the other. First, they will be judged by all of their attributes which includes their stats, weapons, skills, etc. Then we will put them into a battle simulator and see who's the better one when head on. Not only that, we will be also giving them their best possible skill build and put them into the ultimate mass battle showdown to see who will be crowned the winner of my waifu or husband though is better than yours. Let's not wait any longer and introduce our contestants. Standing on the left corner, a member of the Dian's Four Riders, having a branded mark on his back, the Jet Black General, Zalgius, And standing on the right corner, the leader of the Grey Mercenary, a stoic and brave warrior, the stalwart heart, Vike. So here we go, the most infamous rivalry in the Fire Emblem franchise. Armor versus armor, sword versus sword. Who will be crowned the better husband though? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rumble? Round 1, Stats and Skills Let's start by comparing their stats. And Zelgius has the higher HP, defense and resistance, whereas Vike has the better attack and speed. As of this video, Vike has the highest combined attack speed in the game, tying with Kala at 75. The score is now 3-2 to Zelgius. Next, let's compare their weapon. Zelgius wields the Regalia Sword Alandite that has a might of 16. It enables him to counter-attack disregarding distance of foe. What about Vike? He wields the Heart's Blade, a 14 might sword that grants him an attack, speed, defense, resistance plus 3 during combat if he's adjacent to an ally. Furthermore, it could be refined for stats boost. So, who has the better weapon? Tough pick. Distant counter always gives the wielder an extra edge. But having the possibility to refine and bond skill in a weapon is really a big plus seeing you could inherit distant counter in slot A. But at the same time, you lost a little flexibility by doing so. Uh, shall we call it a draw this time? Moving on, they are special. Zalgius has a 3 cooldown special called Black Luna. It treats foes defense resistance as if reduced by 80% during combat. The sad part is, this special cannot be inherited. As for Vike, he has an uninheritable special called Radiant Eater that treats foes defense resistance as if reduced by 50% during combat and restores HP equal to 50% of damage dealt with a cooldown of 4. And according to the rating from Game 8, Black Luna has a score of 9.9 .9 out of 10 and Radiant Eater has 9.5. Zalgius gets another point. Next, they are passive. In slot A, Zalgius has fierce stance. If foe initiates combat, grants an attack plus 6 during combat. And Vike has distant counter that enables him to counter attack disregarding distance of foe. Not that hard to figure out which is the better passive among these two. The stalwart heart gets one point. Now, in slot B. Zalgius has warp powder. If his HP is equal or more than 80%, he gets to move to a space adjacent to any ally within 2 spaces. On the other hand, Vike has special fighter. At start of combat, if his HP is equal or more than 50%, grant special cooldown charge plus 1 to unit and inflicts a special cooldown charge minus 1 on foe per attack. Which is better you ask? Once again by referring to this link, Warp Powder has a score of 9 out of 10 and Special Fighter is 9.5 out of 10. Vike came from behind to equalize. Lastly, let's compare their passive in C. Zalgius has Panic Ploy that converts bonuses on foes in cardinal direction with HP lesser than his into penalties through their next action at the start of turn. And Vike has Even Speed Wave. At start of even numbered turn, Grant speed plus 6 to adjacent allies and himself for one turn. The bonus will still be granted if there's no ally adjacent. So, who will take the last point? Uh, it seems Panic Ploy is rated the same as Even Speed Wave. It's a draw. And that's the end to round 1. With a score of 4 against 4, the result of the first round ended in a tie.
Whoa, no wonder they are arch rivals. It would be pretty funny if all three rounds ended in a draw. Please not. Anyway, let's move on to round two, Hain on Fight. For this and the next segment, I'm going to use the battle simulator from Arctic Silver Fox. First, we are just going to let them brawl with their default skills, IV with no buff. And here's the result for one full turn. It seems Vite managed to beat Zelgius with ease thanks to his special fighter plus Radiant Eater combo. The general of Dain doesn't stand a chance with his Black Luna seal. So Vite wins the default fight. Next, how about we give them some skill inheritance? As our usual practice, we will optimize their build for the highest winning rate. For Zelgius, Alandite, Black Luna, Fury 4, Special Fighter, Odd Attack Wave, and Attack Speed Seal. As for Vike, Attack Refined Armor Smasher, Radiant Eater, Fury 4, Special Fighter, Odd Attack Wave, and Attack Speed Seal. And the result? Zelgius got smashed into pieces because of anti armor. Hey, that wasn't fair, you might be arguing. But that's the weapon Vike needs for the last round. And of course, you could argue Zelgius could do the same to Vike with Armor Smasher too. If you were to give them the same weapon, the result will be a draw. At the end of the day, Vike already had a point in the previous fight, and Zelgius has no way of overpowering Vike. Therefore, I hereby declare the winner of the second round goes to. Vike! Before we proceed to the final segment, let's look back at the results so far. Vike has one win, one draw compared to Zelgius, which only has a draw. The Jet Black General would have to win the next segment to avoid the defeat for this episode. But Vike is coming in with all he got to ensure he takes home the title. Who will win the last round? Let's find out in round 3, Mass Battle. For this segment, we will be using the same damage calculator as round 2 to calculate how effective are they against all the other heroes. Instead of looking at only their kills, we are also going to consider their draws and losses too. And the result will be in the form of percentage. Here's the formula. First, we will calculate the result with their default build. And here's the result for one round of initiation. And Vike takes the first point with a winning rate of 71.9 to 60.3. Next, let's have a look at the result for one full turn with attacking phase first. The Stoward Heart scores another point, 0 2. Now, defending first. Here's the result for one round of defense. Three points in a row with Vike having 68.5% to Zelgia 64. Moving on to one full turn of defense. And Zelgius couldn't get a single point in the default fight. Having special fighter makes Vike's life so much easier. The halfway score is 0-4. Now, let's look at the result after inheriting skills. Who would perform better this time? For one round initiation, Vike continues his winning streak with 97.8% to 94.2. What about one full turn by initiating first? Finally, Zelgius breaks the streak with an astonishing 99.1%. What if enemy attack first? How different would the result be? For one round of defense, the Dying Knight strikes again with a winning rate of 15.8% higher than Vike. 2-5. Lastly, let's look at the result for one full turn of defense. Whoa, both their winning rate is tied at 97.2%. And this marks the end to round 3. With a score of 2 to 5, the last round goes to the Valentine's Mercenary. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, having 2 wins and a draw, the winner of this episode of My Wife or Husband though is better than yours is none other than... Bye. What a match. The rivalry between the two has finally come to an end. At least for now with Vike defeating his arch nemesis to claim the title of the best husband though. In my opinion, the main reason Vike won is only because of his default special fighter. As you have seen in round 2 and 3, 
He used that to his fullest advantage to gain the upper hand, while Zalgius has to do the chasing after falling behind. However, if we were to compare them after skill inheritance, Zalgius has a slight edge because of his unique special. But in the case that you are going for endurance fight, Vike's Radiant Eater might be the better solution. In terms of summoning, now is the best chance to summon for Vike since he's in a Man Long Focus banner compared to Zalgius, which you could only get him by pity breaking. So, what's your thought on the result? Who is the better husband though? Let's discuss. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification icon to Aki Gaming for more interesting content like this. You could also leave a comment below to suggest who would you like to feature in a future episode. Thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next episode of My Wife or Husband is better than yours.